everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to start by saying to all of you who have subscribed, liked, commented on my videos, or even just watched them, thank you so much. Uh, I made my first video like two weeks ago now um, from recording this and I was not expecting it to get onto so many people's YouTube feeds. It just makes me so happy and especially seeing your comments down below and seeing you guys talk about your rats and how much you enjoy my videos of me talking about mine. And yeah, I just want to thank you guys for being so sweet and I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying my videos. For today's video, I thought I would sit down and talk a little bit about how to tell if rats are the right pet for you. Uh, before I got my rats, I did around like four months of research and YouTube videos really helped me, especially videos like this. So I thought I would make my own and talk about that. When I thought about this video idea, I was trying to think of ways to like spice it up so I wouldn't just be sitting here and like talking at you guys. Um, so I thought, why not let the rats cornfish for the first time, because I've never done that before, um, while I tell you about how to tell if rats are the right pet for you. So let's get right into it. So rats are a pretty cheap animal to buy right away. I actually got my three boys for only $10 altogether. However, in the long run, rats are pretty expensive. It's actually really common for rats to get a respiratory infection and it's extremely important you budget money for medical treatment as well as medicine for each rat. This was something I kind of brushed off and thought, you know, if my rats get sick, I'll figure it out then. But please don't have that mindset if you don't think you're actually going to be able to afford medical expenses because your rat will probably end up dying from something that is treatable. So with that, my first point would be, are you willing to spend hundreds of dollars on a rodent that will likely live only around two to three years, maybe five if you're lucky? And I know that sounds kind of harsh, but I'm really not trying to sugarcoat it for you guys. This is one of the downsides of having pet rats and it's important you sit and think through if you're okay with that. I can't express the amount of times I've seen rehoming ads for rats that state the person is rehoming the rat because they can't afford medical treatment. There's no exact price I can give you for how much it might cost to get treatment for rat, but for a rough idea, the vet near my house costs alone 120 Canadian dollars for a checkup and that's not even including medicine. So please, please, please take this into account when you're thinking of getting pet rats. For my second point, are you the type of person that is okay with mess and smell? Now smell can be prevented. Rats themselves are actually very clean animals. It's mainly their cage that will have a smell when there's a buildup of their waste. Once you get into a clean routine, smell might actually not be an issue for you. For me, getting into a routine for cleaning has been a huge learning process. I've tried lining the cage with reusable dog pee pads. I tried a layer of bedding. I'm now using fleece and I'm thinking of trying bath mats. All of these things absorb pee differently and the cage can smell faster depending on what you decide to use. But again, once you figure out what works for you, smell might not be an issue. When it comes to mess, rats can be quite messy, especially if you decide to use bedding in the cage. You'll always find a mix of bedding, poop, and even food around the floor of your cage that you've just got to clean up. And if your rats are chewers, you might find wood chips, pieces of fleece, and torn up pieces of their hammocks you spend all of your money on. And if you're okay with that, keep in mind that these guys like to scent mark, especially nails, so it's common you'll have to clean up pee off of your floors and even yourself. Delightful, I know. So my third point is kind of universal for all pets, but you do have to think about if you have time for your rats. Rats should have what is called free roam time, where you take them outside of their cage to run around for at least an hour a day. If you're someone that travels a lot, I don't know if I'd recommend rats for you. Obviously I don't know all of your life details, but if it's a common thing for you to be gone from your rats for weeks at a time with no one to let them out. I just wouldn't recommend getting rats because it's important for their physical and mental health that they get time outside of their cage. <music> Lastly, after you've taken everything I've said into consideration, if you are living with someone like roommates, your parents, your partner, or whoever, 
you have to think about if those people will be okay with all of this too. Will they be okay with the occasional smell, the mess? Are they okay with your rats running around in your room or someplace in the house? And if your parents or guardians are paying for most of your rat expenses, are they okay to pay for medical treatment? It's important you let everyone in your household know exactly what will happen when you bring new pets into the house. The last thing you want is to bring home your new pet rats only to be told that you're not allowed to take them out of the cage and so on. With all of this being said, rats are one of the most intelligent, kind, and adorable species. I would recommend rats to anyone wanting to get a pet. To me, all of the expenses and time I put into these guys is so worth it. You can really create a bond with each and every one of them, and they're really just a joy to have around the house. Thank you guys. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my video. Keep leaving comments down below because I love to respond to them and see what you guys have to say. I hope this video helped those of you who are looking to get rats. Um, and yeah, bye guys. Did you like your treats, buddy? I think that's a yeah.